So you just got your brand new Sony camera. Maybe it's the A7S III, or maybe it's the FX3, or maybe it's the A6600. Whatever camera you have, leave it in the comment section below. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to color grade that footage whenever you're shooting in a dark environment. So a few things before we jump onto our computer and start editing today. So first I wanna say that you can apply all these steps that I'm gonna be teaching you today to other footage. But in today's video, we're gonna really be focusing on S-Log3. And with that being said, let's jump right into our computer with DaVinci Resolve open. All right guys, so now we're in DaVinci Resolve and the first thing that you wanna do is correct your project setting. So to do that, hit this little gear setting down here. You're gonna pull up this page, go over to your color management and we wanna change our color science to DaVinci YRGB Color Manage. What this is gonna do is give us a little bit more dynamic range as we're color grading in post. So we're gonna hit save. Let's jump right over to our color tab. So first we wanna make sure that our scopes are open and we're gonna be working in our primaries only today. So here's how we're gonna do this video today. I'm gonna to be doing a few things to make this image look really, really good without any grain. But as I'm doing those, I'm gonna be letting you know exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm making those choices so that you can learn to make those choices whenever editing your footage for yourself. So first looking at these scopes and looking at the image, we can see that the image is very flat. So we need to introduce contrast into this image. The first way that I like to do that is instead of hitting contrast like most people do, I go over to my lift and I bring that down like this. Now I'm really aiming to put it right above zero because the next step that I'm gonna be doing is bringing it back up. So counterbalancing what I just done to even out the image. So we're gonna go over here to our gain and we're just gonna lift it up. I usually like to get that hump at about 768 just like that right there. Now you can see that in the white areas, I mean, it's, it's still looking kind of gross, this image overall is, but check out the highlights and check out the dark areas. We still don't have any grain yet, so we're not doing too bad. So next, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add some saturation. Now, if you guys don't know, saturation also introduces more contrast into the image. So for me, I usually like to do my saturation at about 80%, because I like to go over to my color boost and put that at about 10. Now you may not have this next issue like I did, which is my white balance not quite being all the way there. But for me today to fix this, I'm gonna go over to my temperature. I'm just gonna bring that back just like that right there. And now you can see that it looks a little bit too blue. So to counterbalance that, we're gonna go over to our tint and we're just gonna put some pink in it. And right now I'm just, I'm really only looking at my skin tones. So I'm just gonna bring the temperature back a little bit over to orange. So let's go back over here to the scopes and look at them one more time. Really, as far as exposure goes, we're looking pretty good. So for some of you guys who do your image inside of DaVinci Resolve and the bottom of your scopes was already touching the bottom, you really need to improve your lighting setup to get better lighting. And I'm gonna be doing a video next week to show you guys exactly how to do that in your YouTube studio or wherever you're shooting inside. All right, so diving right back over here, the next thing that I like to do is add some detail. So right over here in my mid detail, I'm just gonna put that at 40. Now, when I say numbers, I mean, they're not set in stone. You change them to whatever you want them to be. So next, what I'm gonna do to clean up my skin tones and to kind of give this image overall a little bit more contrast is go into gamma. And I'm just gonna pull that down and it's gonna add some colors in my mid-tones and it's gonna kind of make my skin pop quite a bit more. So now to give my skin a little bit more extra juice, I'm just gonna go over here into my highlights. I'm just gonna pull it down pull it down. So I'm still looking a little bit more orange than I would prefer. So I'm gonna go over to my temp. I'm gonna pull that back. So for a lot of people who edit S-Log3, they probably go straight in and add in contrast. But literally, this is the last step that I'm doing. I'm using my contrast last. And you're gonna get an image like this that looks as clean as this one whenever you do that. I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna add just a little bit of contrast to give my image a little bit more of a pop. Now, I mean, honestly, that's good right there. I'm done editing, I'm happy with this image and it didn't take me too much work. But for you guys who don't edit in DaVinci Resolve, like I said before, if you do this really well one time, then you don't need DaVinci Resolve anymore. And here's the reason why. So if you go right back over here and you right click this clip right here and you do generate LUT, then you can go to 33 point cube 
and what you can do is export this to your i don't know wherever you want i'm going to do it on my desk now with that being done you can now jump over into premiere pro go over to your color tab and then you can go under creative look and you can browse for that look so here it is and boom super easy you can do this super easy in premiere pro Final Cut Pro, and guess what? You can even send this LUT to your smartphone. You can edit S-Log3 footage in LumaFusion, just drop this LUT on and there you go. It's that easy on your iPad, on your smartphone, and Premiere Pro and DaVinci, it's so easy to do this once you figure out how to create a LUT that works for your studio setup. So I know I blew through this video pretty quick today, but for you guys who are beginners, you can check out this video right above me where I go step by step in a longer form of a video to show you guys how to color grade in DaVinci Resolve. Now again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video so that you can be notified whenever I post a video about how to upgrade your lighting in your YouTube studio. So I hope you guys were able to learn something from this video and implement it into your editing process. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.